بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم این السلام علیکم پاکستان ویلکم بیک ٹو کارپوریٹ گورننس ان آر پیویس سیشن وی آر ٹاکنگ اباؤٹ انسٹیٹیوشنل فریم ورک فار افیکٹو کارپوریٹ گورننس اینڈ وی آر لوکنگ ایٹ دا ویریس فیکٹرز اینڈ آلسو ایٹ دا ڈفرنٹ آپشنز وچ کین بی ٹیکن فار انشورنگ دیٹ وی ہیو این افیکٹو انسٹیٹیوشنل فریم ورک فار کارپوریٹ گورننس ناؤ ٹوڈے وی گوئنگ ٹو بی ٹاکنگ اباؤٹ دا ڈفرنٹ فیکٹرز وچ ایف امپروڈ کین لیڈ ٹو اے بیٹر سسٹم اینڈ آلسو اے بیٹر انسٹیٹیوشنل فریم ورک وچ ووڈ بی پریکٹیکل پریگمیٹک اینڈ آلسو Uh, effective. So uh, when we look at that, there's a great need, uh, and this has been discussed a lot in the context uh, of uh, laws in Pakistan, and there's been a lot of discussion both on the media and within uh, the legal institutions, and also the other stakeholders in Pakistan, that there's a great need to further improve on our property laws, to have more clarity of the contract law and its implementation. And in this contract law, to amalgamate the different international and global factors so that there can be more cross-border transition and more cross-border corporate governance. Uh, we need to have a well-regulated banking sector, which our state bank is doing a great job, but it has to be even better. And therefore, we are amongst the few countries of the world where we do not have banking institutional debacles. There has to be, uh, like I mentioned in one of my earlier sessions, exit mechanisms, bankruptcy and foreclosure, and then sound security markets, because right now uh, our security uh, market uh, is very uh, volatile, even though we have the Uh, Pakistan Stock Exchange, and there has been this homogeneity which has been created, which has been further reinforced uh, with the CDC, uh, and that uh, central depository uh, company again uh, is trying to uh, create uh, a more secure market, but definitely there is much more uh, which has to be implemented. We have to have competitive markets which are based upon transparent and fair privatization procedures, transparent and fair taxation regimes are very important, which uh, basically have to be uh, based upon fair play and no preferential treatments, an independent, well-functioning judicial system, uh, anti-corruption strategies, anti-corruption institutions, and accountability mechanisms, again, which are non-discriminatory and non-biased, reform government agencies so that they can be more uh, conducive towards the corporate sector, they can be more facilitatory rather than uh, regulatory, uh, they can be uh, more helping than punitive. Uh, they can try to uh, create a better playing field rather than creating obstacles and impediments and roadblocks all around. And therefore, we have to cut down on the cost of doing business uh, in Pakistan to ensure uh, that there's better corporate governance. Uh, strengthening administrative and enforcement capacity of different government agencies, uh, which again are attuned towards the global uh, circumstances and the future uh, global uh, exigencies which are basically emerging. And then establishing routine mechanisms uh, of participation for all of the stakeholders. Uh, an investigative and well-informed media, uh, which is non-political, which is apolitical, uh, and again uh, focuses on issues like integrity uh, and honesty. And then stre strengthening reputational agents also is very important. So the amalgamation and the recalibration of all of these would lead to a better effective corporate governance framework. Thank you so much.